Hello friends, welcome to HTML video tutorials series. In the previous video tutorials, we discussed introduction to HTML, what does HTML stands for, features and limitations of HTML. We understood how to create a web page or how to create a HTML page using Notepad. In this video, we understand basic structure of any HTML document. We understand structure of any HTML document guys. So let's get started. I search for Notepad. I select the notepad, you can see that the notepad got open. Here in the notepad, we write basic structure of HTML document guys. As I told, HTML is a markup language, it contains set of tags. And tags are divided into two types, paired tags and unpaired tags. I told you that paired tags come with separate opening tag and separate closing tag. Opening tag indicates beginning of something, closing tag indicates ending of something. Opening tag indicates beginning of something, closing tag indicates ending of something, right? And how do we write opening tag? We write less than, we write a tag name, then we write greater than. How do we write closing tag? We write less than, we write tag name, we write greater than. Just before the tag name, we put forward slash. That indicates closing tag, guys. Opening tag indicates beginning of something, closing tag indicates ending of something. Our HTML document starts with opening html tag so we write here less than tag name is html then we write greater than this indicates opening html tag it indicates beginning of the html document to write the closing html tag we write less than forward slash we write the tag name html greater than that indicates closing html tag it indicates end of the html document understanding our html document is divided into two sections guys head section and body section to indicate the head section, inside the opening HTML tag and closing HTML tag, we write opening head tag and closing head tag. Opening head tag indicates beginning of the head section, closing head tag indicates end of the head section. Below the end of head section, we write opening body tag and closing body tag. Opening body tag indicates beginning of the body section, closing body tag indicates end of the body section. Anything we write between opening HTML tag and closing HTML tag, it indicates the HTML code guys. Understanding? So this is a basic structure of any HTML document. You see in every HTML document this code guys. Understanding? And the current version of HTML is HTML5 guys. Current version of HTML is HTML5. As per HTML5, our HTML document first line should be less than exclamation mark doc type HTML greater than. By reading this line of code, browsers understand the given HTML document is the HTML5 document guys. The given HTML document is the HTML5 document. So this line you should write less than exclamation mark doc type. Doc type means document type space HTML greater than. In the opening HTML tag you should write lang equal to en. You should indicate what is the language of this document. Lang means language. Language of this document is English. En means English guys. And in the head section, you should write meta tag with the attribute char set equal to UTF-8 greater than. UTF stands for Unicode Transformation Format. That is a full form. Unicode Transformation Format 8. It is a encoding method, guys. The encoding method of this page is UTF-8. Char set, character set of this page is UTF-8. So this is the basic structure of any HTML5 document, guys. Any HTML5 document. All you need is save this file. Just save file, save as, save the file anywhere you want with the file name. Any file name you can give, give here like about.html, contact.html, anything you can give. Here I am giving default.html. Both sides double quotations and save. I minimize it. You should see here default.html page created. You can open this in any browser. Right click, open with the Google Chrome. You can see that default.html page is open in the Chrome. And remember that tags are not displayed in the browser. Tags are instructions to the browser. They are only used by the browser. Only used by the browser to format the web page. That's it guys. Understanding? So this is a basic structure of any HTML5 document. I suggest you people to write this code guys. Okay, practice it many times. Practice it many times because anyhow you are going to write it in every page. Okay. That's it guys for this video tutorial. 
I hope you guys have clearly understood the basic structure of any HTML5 document. In the upcoming video tutorials, we discuss more about HTML. If you like this video, hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. For more benefits and be up to date, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Keep learning, keep designing, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial. Thank <laughs> you.